guys thank you for tuning in to another Recara James video now we're gonna touch on Android TV boxes my Jika Android TV boxes and these are the ATV 585 and the ATV 582 ultra slim ultra portable but very powerful devices now if you like to travel around the world or you like to pop into resorts so these boxes are ideal for you because they're slim they can easily slip into your backpack or into your pocket. So stick around, we're gonna dive right into these products right now. So I had the opportunity to check out the ATV, the MyJika ATV 585 and the ATV 582. Um, they are two very compact but very powerful Android TV boxes to me. Um, they connect to your HD TV via HDMI cable, but you still have, you do have in the back that small AV port that allows you to connect to analog TVs. Now, they're both packaged with a standard remote that has a D-pad on one side and on the opposite side you have a full QWERTY keyboard allowing you to quickly type and search for the music, the, the videos, the TV shows that you need. Now, apart from the remote, included in the box is also an, is also a 1.4 high-speed HDMI cable and of course the power adapter. Now if we take into consideration the devices that we have today, for example our mobile phones, they are being made very thin, very light, yet they're extremely powerful and this is the case with the MyGika, with these Android TV boxes, the ATV 585 and the ATV 582. They are very small, compact, but they are actually quad-core devices. They also have included 1 gig RAM and 8 gigs flash memory. Now, they both run on Android 4.4 um, KitKat. And th this is, of course, upgradable. So, you know, later on, as things progress, you can upgrade this device to a 5.0 or a 5.1 Android OS. Now, in comparing the boxes, there is just a slight difference in features and the specifications. The ATV 585 is equipped with an ARM Cortex A5 processor, while the ATV 582 has the A9 chipset. The 585 supports H.265 video format and displays at 1080p Full HD, while the 582 supports H.264 and allows for 4K Ultra HD playback. Now, in terms of the physical appearance, the ATV 582 does have a slightly tapered definition, and on one end you'll see slots that allows air to pass through. So this section, this side on the ATV 585 is blank, while on the 582 it allows for ventilation. These are slots for ventilation. Both devices measure approximately four inches across and it makes it perfect for them to fit in your backpack or in your pocket and to take around wherever you go. It also It's also small enough to fit in tight spaces on your entertainment center. They both have a matte finish, sort of looking like brushed aluminum. However, it's it's actually plastic, but it's not easily scratched or marred. However, you can see that it attracts dust easily. And in terms of smears or, or watermarks, it does show that really easily. Now, touching more on the physical appearance, you'll see that the design is really, really simple. Having two USB ports on one side that supports mouse, keyboard, or your external devices, your external hard drives or flash drive, and it also has a micro SD card slot. And this card slot supports up to 128 gig cards. Now, as we move around to the back, you'll find here the HDMI port that was mentioned earlier. Also, there's an AV port for use with a mini AV cable and your analog TV. So you see it right here below, demoed in the K2 video that was done earlier. 
Now continuing with the rear panel, if you look, there's also an Ethernet port included, which is great for the persons who would prefer a cable setup rather than using the built-in Wi-Fi. Now on the topic of Wi-Fi, the ATV585 and the ATV582 both rock an external antenna. And this antenna is not very free, so it will stay in whatever position it's placed in. The devices supports the standards, the wireless standards B, G, N. So it will pretty much work on most Wi-Fi networks. Now, taking a closer look at the ATV582, we see that it's very much similar in design to the 585. The, they have the same type and number of ports laid out the same way, but you can see that there's a slightly tapered definition as mentioned earlier and also there's this section there's this slotted or countersunk section where the USB and micro SD ports are placed. Now the issue I find with this area is that if you have very bulky USB devices or USB cables then because of this design they may not sit properly. Also based on the distance between both USB ports. You might find that using large USB flash drives or large cables, you know, they may just obstruct the presence of other devices. So you might find that you insert, they take up so much space that you can't insert another device. Now, on the blank side of these boxes, what MyGeek could have done is to, you know, add an additional USB port. So in the event, an issue like this should happen, then you, uh, you can turn to the other side and have that extra USB port for additional devices. When we take a look at the interface, you see that it's very simply laid out. What my GK has done is to use large squares to represent each application and this makes the design so simple. Fresh out the box, you will love it for this and the average user will not be easily frustrated. Of course, you can rearrange but this makes it so perfect for the novice, for the average person, for the person who is not a techie, for the person who just wants a box to be connected and watch TV. So if you're looking for a new Android TV box and you need something that's very fast, very portable that you can take around with you wherever you go so that you have your media, you have your content with you, the MyGika ATV585 and the MyGika ATV582 are your options. Really cool Android TV box from a company that makes really great devices. Now guys, that was the review on the MyGika ATV 585, MyGika ATV 582 ultra portable, very powerful Android TV boxes. So remember, please subscribe, share. If you haven't yet done so, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching guys.